same chances that I've had. And right now, it just seems like the chances are being snatched away from her as far as education goes and being able to afford things. There's been times when I couldn't even afford medicine. It's either pay for my electric bill or pay for the medicine that I have to have. And, you know, that shouldn't be a choice for any American at all. We should be able to get what we need anytime we need it. I mean, these people, they can, they can spend all the money they want on their yachts and their how many houses do, does a person actually need, in all seriousness? I'm losing my house, and I'm struggling to pay my bills, where I have to declare bankruptcy because I got sick and had to go in the hospital. And, you know, there's got to be changes in this country. we got to start caring about, caring about the people in the country, especially the young, because the future of the country is the young. So, for change! For change! can't be apathetic and, and sit there and say, well, go by the occupies and say, get a job. I mean, is that really the conversation? The conversation needs to be open. You need to have this conversation. I mean, between all of us, whether you're rich or poor, somebody needs to start this dialogue between us. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate